Most people don't realize, but this music is heard everywhere. They hear it in movie theaters, on television screens, on the radio. There's buzz all over the internet about a movie coming out, and then there's the trailer. And when that trailer comes out, people flock to it. They watch it over and over and over again. And what they're watching are the visuals, and what they're hearing is the music. to know about the Ed guy I should have known when I saw him with the Mike guy. Okay, but the actual problem is the Ed guy. I know, but that Mike guy is like oh pretty much... Oh my god, hold up. You have a thing for this Mike guy. No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, and I should have known it because I'm attracted to him and you know... Okay, that means... You know what? If you're referring to the fact that you have a habit of sleeping with the guys that I like before I do, I don't... Excuse me, excuse me. Accidentally making love to men you don't yet realize you're attracted to? Big difference. Okay, here she comes. Tell her gently. So, here's something that they don't tell you when you take a chop. Apparently, when you come in 20 minutes late to work, they make you stay an extra 20 minutes at the end of the day. That's nice, huh? How am I supposed to do this job thing for the rest of my life? If it's not the W-2 form, it's the timesheet or the dress code or filling out basketball brackets for the office ball. It's a nightmare. Your dirty little friend Ed is engaged to someone else. What? Your dirty little friend Ed is engaged to someone else. No. Yeah. How is that doing it gently? Oh, stop. You got it. Most people don't realize that the movie actually comes to us on five to eight individual reels. Then we take those reels and splice them together into one continuous piece of film that's loaded onto the platter. What images come to mind when you think of a movie projector? Perhaps it's a type of box that has arms sticking out of it with reels of film on them. That would be logical since a lot of promotional material for movie rentals and theaters usually picture something similar. While some smaller theaters have projection systems that run reel to reel, most theaters today use what is called a platter system. It enables the reels of a movie to be spliced together into one big roll, so it runs continuously throughout the show. The discussion that I normally have when explaining that to people uh, comes along with the, the explanation as to why we have two projectors. Uh, and even the people, you know, guys that 
that consider themselves accomplished projectionists that, that have never worked anywhere but a multiplex will come in here and they don't even understand why we would have two projectors. You know, so, so I have to explain to them how it worked before platters came along that you showed reel number one on the first projector and reel number two on the second projector. And while you're rewinding reel number one, while reel number two is running and then threading up reel number three. Uh, so the life of a projectionist was quite different during those days. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to 500 miles in the California sun. The second race of the season being as important as the first. Home track advantage. Traffic at 183 miles per hour. Stars who don't need stuntmen. Goosebumps. I pledge allegiance to the flag. talking about up there? They've been talking for a few days. You've grown. I told you. The boy was lost in the darkest part of the woods of Wolfhagen Castle. The young boy finally found the strength to go into the sky scariest part of the woods. Mommy! Hey kids. The young boy finally found the courage to go to the scariest part of the woods. He was afraid, but he was brave. And he knew he had the aid of the double-headed sword. Promise me that you will be a king with, with the body of a man and the heart of a boy and the strength of a dragon. Grandpa, what kind of king did he become? You will only find out if you grow taller every day. 